According to a recent study, in just 47 days, from August 29th to October 29th, 2019, the National Astronomical Observatory of the Chinese Academy of Sciences detected a total of 1,652 powerful radio signals coming from a single source. Beyond any doubt, it's truly a unique phenomenon. What can it be? Radio communications of highly advanced civilizations? See how it all started. Mysterious Signals from Outer Space Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. In 2007, researchers discovered something strange when analyzing archival data from the Australian Parkes Telescope. It was a millisecond burst of high-intensity radio emission. Down frequency across time in milliseconds. The burst signal is represented by a dark bar. At low frequencies, the signal arrives later due to the dispersion of radio waves in the intergalactic medium. The inset shows the signal's time profile at a fixed frequency. Scientists realized right away that this was at least something unusual. But only very few people knew the whole significance of this fantastic phenomenon. A new term was coined to refer to it, called fast radio bursts. From the distinctive difference between the rate of the signal's arrival at higher and lower frequencies, scientists have inferred that the source is very far away, billions of light years from Earth. This means that the signal source is extremely powerful to overcome all cosmic matter, 10 raised to the power of 43 ergs per second. This is 3 billion times more luminous than the Sun. I'll repeat this one more time. Three billion times more luminosities than the sun in just one millisecond. And all this energy is being conveyed in the radio band. This sounds like pure science fiction. This was how a long scientific search began. Astronomers rushed to find similar events. Fortunately, they didn't keep scientists waiting. In just a few years, radio astronomers discovered bursts with similar properties, and it became clear that this was a whole type of new astronomical phenomena. However, the discovery of more and more facts did not at all provide the answer to the main questions. What gives rise to these mysterious outbursts? And more importantly, how? For the longest time, the localization accuracy of fast radio bursts in the sky was very low about a few square degrees. Trying to identify a source in such an area without a single idea of what it can be is like looking for a needle in a haystack. However, what really grabbed scientists' attention was the uniqueness and improbability of these phenomena that deemed such events highly unlikely. Lee Billings gave a vivid analogy in Scientific American. The average FRB radio signal on Earth is 1,000 times weaker than a signal of a typical mobile phone on the moon. But if we take into account that the source is actually billions of light years away, it turns out that its power must be absolutely out of this world. The thing is that neither at the time the first FRB was discovered in 2007, nor for many subsequent years, it wasn't possible to comprehend what unimaginable forces could generate such a surge. The closest thing that came to mind was gamma ray bursts, whose nature was a subject of many fervent debates in the scientific community for three decades. In the end, their sources were discovered and turned out to be mostly supernova explosions. However, with these radio bursts, everything was much more complicated and incomprehensible because before the FRB was discovered, no one could theoretically fathom the existence of something that could squeeze all the energy of the sun's luminosity into the radio range, multiply it by 10 billion, and shoot all of it with unimaginable power in just a millisecond. Up until now, such phenomenon didn't seem plausible to anyone. Even the most powerful hypernova releases a chunk of its energy in the gamma range, Undoubtedly, the radio range accounts for an insignificant share of this emission. Scientists were confused, and it took years before this whole thing began to clear up. 
What made it difficult to identify this phenomenon was that for a long time, FRBs were only isolated. With yearly improvements in detection methods, astronomers were able to record dozens of fast radio bursts. Statistical analysis showed that the number of fast radio bursts across the entire sky should be on the order of several thousand per day. Finally, one fast radio burst was found to recur regularly. FRB 180916 pulses every 16.35 days. Then, there were found some consistency in the coordinates of other previously noted bursts. They were accompanied by some oddities too. For example, some sources pulsed irregularly, but still in multiples of a certain number, and that was at least something to go on. Let's just keep in mind that when we casually say source, we're just reiterating what researchers said. In fact, scientists had no idea what they were at that time. Identifying regularities in some FRBs was good news in the scientific community, but it did not come close to uncovering their nature. Still, it was difficult to make progress with the research without determining the exact location of the source. Desperate times called for desperate measures, and astronomers resorted to interferometry, which is the most accurate astrometry instrument. The tool is even more accurate in the radio range, since the detector's base can be the size of the Earth, and in experimental projects like Radioastron, even tens of times larger. But even with instruments like interferometers, catching radio bursts was very challenging due to the narrow field of view. But finally, it happened. On January 4, 2017, a group of radio astronomers reported in the Nature Journal the first astrometric localization of one of the short pulse sources, namely FRB 121102. The legendary VLA and the even more legendary 305-meter radio telescope in Arecibo became the heroes of the event. Unfortunately, the latter one is now gone for good. Astronomers finally had something to go on. This particular FRB 121102 source was regular. In 83 hours, it was observed by the VLA in the 2.5 to 3.5 gigahertz frequency band within six months. Nine short bright bursts with the same dispersion value were recorded. The localization accuracy was on the order of 0.1 arc seconds, which can be compared to the accuracy of the best optical observations. It turned out that near the source of the recurrent FRBs, there is a weak radio source with continuous non-thermal spectrum. According to archived observation data of 2014, a faint object of about 25th magnitude was consistently present at the source site. This was revealed using the Keck Observatory's 10-meter optical telescope and the Gemini telescope. Additional super-long baseline radio interferometric observations done with millisecond precision from the European Radio Telescope Network confirmed the VLA results and showed that the constant source and the FRB source were separated by less than 0.12 milliseconds. This confirms that they might be physically connected. Spectroscopy of an optical source at the North Gemini Telescope in Hawaii showed that optical radiation comes from a dwarf galaxy lying at a distance of about 1 gigaparsec, which is approximately 3 billion light years, weighing 40 to 70 million solar masses, and having a high specific star formation rate. This was followed by further improvements in localization methods and scientists found more and more precise locations of FRB sources. Most turned out to be extragalactic, but in April 2020, the Canadian Chime Radio Telescope discovered the first FRB in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. In June 2021, astronomers reported more than 500 detected FRBs in space. Finally, with the launch of the 500-meter Fast Radio Telescope, also known as Tianyan, the Eye of Heaven, the number of fast radio burst detections went up to thousands. Scientists have finally got hold of large volumes of data that can potentially explain the nature of these bursts. Currently, hundreds of articles have been written about the nature of fast radio bursts, 
where scientists have put forward several dozen hypotheses. From completely plausible ones associated with explosive processes near neutron stars to exotic ones attributing them to the last breath of evaporating black holes, the proponents of the artificial nature of these phenomena are also quite hopeful. They talk about gigantic radars of extraterrestrial civilizations, acceleration drivers of intergalactic ships, space sails, and so on. As new data becomes available, some of the theories become discarded with relief or regret. Scientists are now taking a closer look at some of them. The search continues, and thanks to such tools as FAST, for the first time in many years, we have a chance in this decade to unravel the mystery of fast radio bursts coming from deep space.